in this problem we're being asked to determine which of the following are one-to-one -one functions. And you'll recall from our definition of a function that to be a function in the first place, for every x value, there's only one y value. And what that means is that a graph of a function can pass the vertical line test. So if I take a vertical line and put it anywhere on the function, it's always going to intersect at only one point. All of these appear to pass the vertical line test. I can't seem to make them intersect this vertical line at more than one point. So they're all functions. Now a one-to-one -one function, in addition to having only one y value for every x value, has only one x value for every y value. And what that means is that it can pass the horizontal line test if it's a one-to-one -one function. When I try that up here, I notice immediately that uh, the first one doesn't pass. It intersects the horizontal line in two places. Same with the second one. Same with the third one. Although on the fourth one, move this all the way through the function, I can only get it to intersect at one point. So number four down here, that's a one-to-one -one function. You might also get a problem where you've just got the formulas, uh, and you could spend your time graphing these, but by now you should be able to recognize the basic shapes that these formulas create. Our first one is a quadratic, x squared minus 2, and you know that a quadratic looks basically like this, a parabola. 3x plus 7 is just a line, so it's going to look something like that, and negative x minus 8, that's also a line, going to look like that. So you can just eyeball these and figure out do they pass the horizontal line test and of course the first one wouldn't pass the horizontal line test because you can put a line through there that is horizontal and intersects more than one point. So when you're trying to figure out if a function is one to one, try the horizontal line test.